let us unlock more story time. Gate key Ray. Boop. I wonder what new quest awaits us. Let's find out together. Act 4, Part 2. Uh, big caster, and I guess some archers on the way. Oh, apparently there's no eaters or anything like that. Okay. fit that onto her, so... Yeah, that'll work. I wonder what kind of magical things we're going to find here in the sunken forest. It's some sphinxes. Oh no! Not NP strength down. That's important to have up. You can only spoiler me on the fight if I get to spoiler you on what's going to happen later tonight. I knew the new P5 isn't JRPG. Yeah, it's a Musou game. So I'm assuming it's going to play and feel like a Musou game. Much like every Musou game that has ever existed. One thousand nine hundred and eighty-four sneezing girls. Just a few more, and it'll be the year that I was born. <laughs> For my girls in NA, inside of Jack, Ilya, and Melt, and Kuro. Nineteen years old, you your math might be a little bit off.
Yeah, but the difference is that P5S is going to come out relatively soon, and P5R is going to come out in 30 years. There are two Nito Chris's chat. I like this reality. P5S stands for P5 Sadism. P5M will release sometime later. They beat the saber boss with the stupid high defense. Uh, you're gonna need a key. And if you're talking about before you get Suzuka Gozen's key, then uh, you don't. Survive. Belt spins at fast speeds. Maybe he's talking about Gawain. He needs to specify these kinds of things. If he's not talking about Suzuka. Because we're currently doing this event and the saber with stupidly high defense is Suzuka, so... No, the cute JK girl? Yeah, Suzuka? Yeah, you don't beat her until you get her key. Otherwise, and if you don't have Suzuka Gozen's key, then, yeah, you, uh, you don't win that fight. You just survive. Survive. This is, this is where the passage ends. The next part leads to the spine. The only problem is... We need another gate key. Damn it, we don't have time for this. Hasn't BB been enough of an obstruction already? <sighs> I've been mean to ask, what is Sakura meant? Sakura meant is just Sarah's version of QP. It's only called that because BB changed its name. You can think of it as a kind of excess magical resource floating around Seraph. Usually, there wouldn't be any need to go out of your way to collect so much of it. But for Bibi, it's kind of like storing food for the winter, or a secret nest egg. So what happens if we don't collect it? Does it get absorbed back into Seraph? Um, it, I, it might get used if Seraph's resources got really low, but generally it would disappear on its own. I see. So we're basically collecting resources that'll turn into trash if we leave them alone. Kinda sounds like embezzling. BB must be hoarding this stuff so it doesn't get used by Seraph. Moshi, Moshi, this is Arnold. Do you read me? Hey, thank you very much, Shiki RXN, for the follow. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Why are you all wasting your time there? 
Huh? I didn't know the church could send transmissions like this. Oh, that? I had Tristan bring this equipment back from the command room. It was a calculated risk. I can't afford to sit around doing nothing. You may be a master, Gouda, but you're still young. You lack proper command experience, and you don't know anything about Seraphix. So it falls to me to step up, fill the void in our command structure, and give you orders. You and your personnel clearly can't handle this on your own. Oh, great. Now there's this asshole who thinks he's so fucking smart. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Arnold was so scared that I felt I had to, um, encourage him. And I guess I ended up doing too good of a job. I'm so sorry. Shut it, Mabel. Sitting around all day and eating up all our food, you're even more useless than before. Listen up, Gouda. From now on, you do as I say. You're in the underarm now, right? You'll proceed to the back area immediately. According to my measurements, you should be able to reach the back from there. Once you do, turn Seraph back over and you should find yourself beneath the command room. In other words, at the planetarium you mentioned. I happen to have a map of Seraphix here, you see. You should be impressed. This map doesn't cover the entire facility, but by correctly measuring each area and combining those measurements... I discovered an empty space right in the middle. How do you like them apples? That is far from new information. That guy really is just another cog in the machine, isn't he? At any rate, I want you out of the underarm ASAP, got it? Report back here once you've taken care of the Sentinel. According to my calculations, Seraphix will reach the bottom of the trench in 15 real-world minutes, or about 25 hours for us. That'll allow you some time to rest. Also, be aware that I will be accompanying you to the planetarium. I'll expect your full report, which should all be good news soon. Do not fail me. Uh, for the record, it was me who did the measurements and figured out the remaining time, you know. You know, Arnold, I... I outrank you in this situation. On the field, I far outrank you. I mean, I'm the one with the servants. Who are smarter than you, so, you know. Yeah, shrug. <laughs> I could just ignore everything he just said. Well, this sucks. That nitwit playing at being in charge is just going to make our lives harder. He may be kind of a pompous asshole, but still, he's right. Who don't I outrank, Da Vinci? What do you mean, kind of? He treated Gouda like he was just one of his flunkies. Technically, he does outrank me. <sighs> technically. I mean, you just put a big air quotes around that technically. Freaking deny protection of him, see if he outranks me then. No, no, no! I won't let him just do that. Just you wait. I'm gonna squeeze some sense into him later. Don't lip. In your case, you'd be squeezing a lot more out of him than you would into him. You may have grown up a bit, but you're still kind of an airhead when it comes to your own strength. No, I'm not. You're the airhead for even saying that. Okay, fine. I'm an airhead then. Tell you what. We'll bring him to the most dangerous place in Seraph and leave him there overnight. If he's still alive in the morning, he should have some appreciation for just what an insignificant speck he is. Any human can be useful once they've learned a little humility. Remember that, Lip. What is it, Gouda? What's with that stupid look? That was really heartwarming. The way you threatened to possibly kill that guy. Is that how it looked to you? 
Then our communication tools must be in great working order. Not too long ago, Lip and I only saw each other as rivals. All we BB-born alter egos could think about was ourselves. I wonder who would win that fight. I guess if Melt got a virus into Lip and then was able to avoid an attack from her, she'd win. But if Lip gets one hit off on Melt, she wins because her strength is a lot... A lot more... Robust. A lot larger. A lot f more... Bouncy. <laughs> That's true. I remember how Meld always used to pick on me and how I used to wish someone would come along and beat her up. And now look at us. We used to be monsters with no understanding of anything but ourselves and our own love. But then one day we met a human who accepted us as we were. Neither Melton nor I would have come this far without them. Before, I used to wish that I could become human myself. Now I understand that's impossible. Not true. Holy Grail exists, and it can do that. But that's okay. Because we can, and we want to, still be on their side. Even if we can never be in the same kind of life form, there's no reason that we can't support each other. You know, sometimes I, th I envy you, Lip. I wish I could think about things that simplistically. Hey, that's just another way of calling me an airhead. You know my processing speed is just as good as yours. But you are an airhead. Her spine snaps? Nah, that's not true. There's women with breasts that are pretty comparable to that in the world. By the way, are you hiding something, Melt? What's under that crotch plate? I need to s I need to know. Of course. Didn't I already say as much before? I'm only using you so that I can come out on top in the end. So naturally, I'm going to hide things, get more than I give, and refuse to tolerate humans. Do you still think you can trust me? Or rather us, knowing all that? Yes. Is that so? Can Lip Crush Liquids? Yes. Yes, she can. I suppose to be an L cup or some mythical letter. No, lip would be bigger than an L cup. Lip's bus size is 160 centimeters. So, pretty big. That's bigger than some people. Anyway, we finally made it this far. Only 88 servants left to go. That's more than I thought. At first, this battle seemed hopeless and I almost gave up more times than I could count. But, well, what else could I have done? Just forget about how much I used to complain, okay? I swear, you're all bark and no bite. I told you that my processing power, thoughts, and performance were reset after I'd been rebooted. Still, I think that side of you may have been just what I needed. We alter egos are artificial beings made from an artificial being. There's no substance to us at all. The only way we can hold on to our sense of purpose is to cling to the emotions that were used to create us. We're like dolls. Like dolls that have to chop themselves up for firewood in order to keep room. Keep warm. We were doomed to disintegrate the moment we were created. But you, you programmed me with a new sense of purpose. Even if you only did so by accident, 
or as part of a calculating scheme, I wouldn't have it without you. That's all the reason I needed to join you. I'm Meltrilis, the alter ego of pleasure. A ballerina who dances for an audience of one. Me. Now that you've gone ahead and awakened this monster, Master, I may as well fulfill my part. Of course, there's no way I'll be able to beat the rest of the servants, so I'm counting on you to step up. Am I sure I'm okay with you as my master, you ask? You should really have more confidence in yourself. There are only two types of humans that I can stand. One is the type that never gives up no matter what, but just does whatever they can without being all gung-ho about it. Basically, someone who tries to do the best they can all on their own. The other is the type that scrambles about trying to turn every hopeless situation around until everyone in the vicinity is caught up in it. And those two are not mutually exclusive. Those usually go hand in hand together. I prefer the first type, though. They're much more elegant, after all. That said, sometimes you just have to enjoy a good loud capriccio, right? Besides, this is a cross-species collaboration. I don't mind doing things your way for a change. Tags cross-species. Gate key has been added, so we need to get the gate key, coaster, and Suzuka's key to unlock the spinal coaster. AKA, we need a lot of BB bucks. So it will now be farming time for uh, quite a bit, because we need a lot of a lot of BB bucks before we're gonna be good to go for the rest of the story so uh i hope you guys are excited for farming time and see you for next story time for those vod watchers all two of you